Messed Up is brought to you by Eco Main. I'm Uriel Adams. I'm a senior at North Yarmouth Academy and I enjoy throwing discus and shot put. I'm, uh, I'm Clayton Manchester and I'm a senior at North Yarmouth Academy and I love playing guitar. I'm Dana Purse. I'm a senior at Waynefleet School and I love doing puzzles. Uh, I'm Jacob Hagler. I'm a senior at Waynefleet High School and I like playing baseball. Welcome back to Messed Up, the game show that challenges Maine high school students in math, engineering, science, and technology. We are into our fifth season here, and we have teams from North Yarmouth Academy and also from Waynefleet, the returning champions, right? No pressure, guys. So we're going to start with our brain battle. We have 10 questions, five points each. So there are 50 points up for grabs. And then at the end of the brain battle, we have a new video question as well. That one will be worth 20 points for one question. So if you guys are all set, let's get started with the brain battle. Ready to go? Yep. All right. Question one, solve four X, and the equation is on your screen. Blue team. X is less than three. That is incorrect. And red team. X is less than six. That is correct. In which engineering career might you take exact measurements of a landslide to help engineers assess damaged roads? A, transportation engineer. B, mapping technician. C, civil engineering technician. Or D, CAD technician. Blue team. C. Incorrect. And red team. A. Incorrect. The correct answer is B, mapping technician. Which of the following levels of organization best represents the sequence from smallest unit to largest? A, cell, organism, organ, tissue. B, cell, tissue, organ, organ system. C, cell, organism, tissue, organ system. Or D, cell, tissue, organism, organ. Blue team. B. Correct. What is the process responsible for producing photons in a diode laser. A, majority carrier injection. B, carrier freeze out. C, electron hole recombination. Or D, Fermi level shift. Red team? D. Incorrect. Blue team? A. Incorrect. The correct answer is C. You didn't know that, did you? No. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Jacobs can correct 150 quizzes in 50 minutes. His student aide can correct 150 in 75 minutes. Working together, how many minutes will it take them to correct 150 quizzes? Blue team. 25. Incorrect. Red team. 30. Correct. And question six. You divide the draw. Oh, no. <laughs> Which of the following are represented using binary values? A, analog signals, B, digital signals, C, gamma rays, or D, ultraviolet rays? Blue team. D. Incorrect. I think you need a digital account. And red team. Do um, you have an answer? A. Incorrect. The correct answer is B, digital signals. <laughs> <laughs> Which of the following is an example of an antigen that might be recognized by the immune system of an individual. A, a viral protein, B, a fat molecule, C, saline solution, or D, oxygen molecule. Blue team. A. Correct. Which of the following networks connects devices in sequence along a linear path? A, ring, B, bus, C, application, or D, star. Red team. C. Incorrect. A. Incorrect. The correct answer is bus. Sorry. Which of the following point lies on the line 4x plus 5y equals 20? Red team. A. That's correct. Zero, four. Nice. Which of the, this is the last question in the brain battle. 
Which of the following matches a communication medium with a type of signal that can be readily transmitted through it? A, copper wire, electric. B, copper wire, infrared. C, optical fiber, radio. Or D, optical fiber, x-ray, red team. A. That's correct. That's the end of our brain battle. And before we get to the points, let's get right to the video question. This question is from the folks at the Mount Washington Observatory. So here it is, right from the summit of Mount Washington. Hey guys, my name is Caleb. I'm a weather observer and education specialist here at the Mount Washington Observatory. Here's your video question. One of the big treats that we can occasionally see from the observatory, especially on clear nights and nights where there are increased amounts of solar activity due to coronal mass ejections from the sun, are the northern lights. These colors that form high up in the atmosphere in the ionosphere and the magnetosphere are the result of reactions between the bombardment of plasma sheet electrons from space and the gases that compose the Earth's atmosphere. The most dominant colors are greens, purples, and reds. The color is dependent on the atom or molecule that is being reacted and the amount of energy that is being exchanged. All right, so the most common auroral color is green, which comes from the reaction of which atomic element? Is it A, nitrogen, B, argon, C, neon, or D, oxygen? All right, so blue team? A. Incorrect. I think it's oxygen. Quick, go ahead. Red team? D. That's correct. Nice. So 20 points to the red team. And at the end of the brain battle and video question, the red team is in the lead with 40 points. The blue team at 10 points. Next up, we have the engineer this challenge where 40 points are at stake. So we'll be back right after this. Hey everyone, it's Leo from EcoMaine. Back at you from our recycling facility. Now we all know that our three R's are reduce, reuse, and recycle. But which one conserves the most resources? Okay, welcome back. If you guessed reduce, you're absolutely right. By choosing to reduce, you've made the choice to, well, get rid of less things, thus conserving more of the resources. Good job. Welcome back to Messed Up. We are heading into the Engineer This Challenge. The red team right now in the lead at 40 points and the blue team at 10 points. And there are 40 points at stake here as we head into this challenge. For more on the Engineer This Challenge, we're going to toss it over to environmental scientist Tom Long. Thanks, Sarah. We're here at Elements in Bitterford and welcome to the Rover Lander Challenge. Each team will receive a Rover Lander a cup and a card attached to the bottom. You will also receive your two delicate astronauts. You will use three out of the five items on the table to help ensure that your astronauts land upright. Good luck, teams. Thank you very much, Tom. Are you guys all set? All right, so two of you go ahead and choose your items. So both teams are set. You all have your items. Your five minutes start now. Way there, two thirty. Help me. 
yeah, this angle. So let's start with the red team. And we're going to start at two feet. So, um, two feet, there we go. Ah! It's okay. All right, okay. so we're going to start at two feet. And go. go ahead. All right, so blue team does it. Do you want to go up to three, see if it works? Sure. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Whoa, one astronaut. <laughs> That's okay. Yes, yeah, so 40 points to the blue team, and that means we are at 50 points on the blue team and 40 points on the red team. A close game. And next up, we have the Grid of Destiny. Many more points up for grabs. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to Messed Up. We are heading into our grid of destiny. Many more points up for grabs at this point. Wayne Fleet ahead at 50 points. North Yarmouth Academy right on their tail at 40 points. So the grid of destiny is set up in four columns. One for math, one for engineering, one for science, and one for technology. Each column has questions increasing in point value, but also difficulty. We start off with the leading team choosing the first question. So Wayne Fleet, are you ready? Science 15. The reason salt crystals such as KCI hold together so well is because the cations are strongly attracted to what? Red team. Anions. That's correct. Science for 20. A two centimeter thick piece of cardboard placed over a radiation source would be most effective in protecting against which type of radiation? A, alpha, B, beta, C, gamma, or D, x-ray. Blue team. Alpha. That's correct. Engineering for 20. In which engineering career might you design laser tools for delicate eye and heart surgeries? Red team. Biomechanical engineering. Incorrect. Optical. Incorrect. The correct answer is photonics engineer. Uh, so red team, your choice. Math for 15. A student store sold a total of 55 shirts for $620. The shirts were either red or white. If the red shirt sold for 12 each and the white sold for 10 each, how many of each color shirt were sold? Red team. Uh, 35 red and 20 white. That's correct. Uh, science for 10. When cations and anions join, they form what kind of chemical bond? Blue team. Ionic. That's correct. And blue team, your choice. Technology for 10. Files created lossy compression are typically blank than files using lossless compression. A, larger. B, smaller, C, faster, or D, the same? Blue team. A. Incorrect. Red team? Let's go with B. That is correct, smaller. And red team, your choice. Math for 25. You'll find the equation on your screen. Oh. 
Red team? 102. That's correct. Red team, your choice. Uh, engineering for 10. Which kind of engineer might build an animatronic equipment and specific effects for amusement parks and the entertainment industry? Red team. Mechanical. Incorrect. Civil engineer. Incorrect. Robotics engineer. Technology for 15. Chip cameras use blank to convert the light image into electronic signals. A, deflection magnets, B, electron guns, C, charged coupled devices, or D, target plates. Blue team. C. That's correct. Blue team, your choice. Technology 20. 20. The U.S. space program for a long period named its space projects after Roman gods and goddesses. What was the first project named after a god or goddess? Red team. Apollo. Incorrect. Apollo 13? Incorrect. The correct answer is Diana. Were they, I thought they were looking for Okay, so red team, your choice. Math for 20. Last year, 7 sixteenths of all students in a school participated in the science fair. About what percentage of the students participated? Red team. 45.75. Uh, we will take that. 44% was the answer, but we asked for about. Nice. Uh, so red team, your choice. Uh, math for 10, I guess. What is the decimal equivalent to 3 eighths? Red team. 0 0.375. That is correct. Science? Sure. Science for 25. What type of force Whoa. holds ions together in salts, such as CaF2? Blue team. The electrostatic force. That's correct. Uh, blue team, your choice. Technology for 25. Orville Wright piloted the first successful flight of a self-propelled, heavier-than-air craft on December 17, 1903. How far did the gasoline-powered, propeller-driven biplane go, and how long did it stay in flight? Red team. It went about 50 feet, stayed in the air for about 11 seconds. Incorrect. Um, Went about 50 feet and stayed in the air for 15 seconds. Incorrect. The correct answer, you guys underestimated him on the uh, distance, 120 feet. Hmm. Yep, uh, 12 seconds. I said 12 seconds. Yep, so that was close. I didn't know that. Guess we'll go for 15. A contractor needs to choose a low density material for use in the construction of a building. When comparing two materials of the same size, the less dense material always gives a building structure which of the following characteristics? A, lower weight, B, greater strength, C, lower flammability, or D, greater electrical conductivity? Blue team. A. That's correct, lower weight. And the last question in the grid of destiny, engineering for 25 points, which of the following art forms would not exist if it were not for physics-related technology? A, photography, B, recorded music, C, movies, or D, all of the above. Blue team. D. That's correct, all of the above. And at the end of the grid of destiny, it is still a close game. The blue team in the lead at 160 points and red team 135 points. Now we are heading into our end game question. This is where you guys get to wager points based on the subject matter of that question, and it happens to be math. Now, remember, you're not wagering necessarily against each other. The top eight of the first 12 teams to compete will go on to the quarterfinals based on points. All right, with that, go ahead and get your wagers ready, and we'll be back right after this. Hey there, it's Leo from EcoMaine, back with another question for you. So, we're dealing with about 170,000 tons of trash each and every year. Now, my question for you is this. The bunker behind me will hold about 4,000 tons when full. And every day and every night we're working to clean it up. So how long do you think it'll take us to go through one bunker's worth of garbage? If you guessed about one week, you're a math whiz. You're absolutely right. Each and every week, we go through about 4,000 tons worth of garbage, and we've got to work day and night 
24-7 to take care of it all. It's kind of a lot. And welcome back to Messed Up. We are at our end game question. It is a close game. The blue team at 160 points and the red team at 135. So I have wagers from both teams. They know that the end game question, the subject is math. And if you guys are ready, here it is. A little aluminum boat, mass of 14.5 grams, has a volume of 450 centimeters cubed. The boat is placed in a small pool of water and carefully filled with pennies. If each penny has a mass of 2.5 grams, how many pennies can be added to the boat before it sinks? Oh. Halfway there. You have a minute and 30 seconds. One minute left. And done. All right, so blue team, what is your answer? 47. That is incorrect. The correct answer is 173 pennies will still float, but 174 will sink. So the correct answer is 174. And red team, what do you have? All right, well, we were pretty close. We had 16. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, so both teams uh, got it wrong. And blue team, you wagered 25 points, so you are down to 135. And red team, you wagered 80 points, so you are down to 55 points. So great job by both teams today. Again, we may see you back here in the quarterfinals, but for now, Awesome job today. And thank you so much for joining us. We will be back here next week with another episode of Messed Up in season five. And if you want to check in before then, you can always head to messedup.tv. Thanks for joining us. Good job, guys. Yeah. Messed Up is brought to you by Ego Maine.